You could have this money taken away out of a voucher payment every month until you fix this if you don't comply. training site staff on how to do their job correctly when I'm out there. I love interaction with them. EIB and like upper management doesn't communicate down to them sometimes to give them enough training on how they're supposed to do certifications, how they're supposed to keep up with the master EIB book or do, do all the documentation that's required. What I've seen a lot like recently after COVID and stuff is more changeover with property managers and some of them coming into the business that don't have a clue. They don't even know, you know anything about Section 8 or very little. So that's where you know the upper management people need to communicate a lot better but some of them have changed. Well, they can make sure they can get them training because a lot of them won't even send them to trainings. You know, say like y'all do the SAMA here and we do the AMA in Virginia. There's a lot of companies that don't send their staff there. They'll go, like the regionals will go, but they don't send the site staff and they're the ones doing all the work. So they have all the paperwork, they got to understand all the demands and requirements to make sure that they don't let people in that shouldn't be getting in and how they're supposed to do all this stuff. They just don't provide enough training and they really need to. And if people would take advantage of some of that for like say smaller um, mom pops, smaller management companies that can't afford like anything really big, if they would reach out and do that I think it would be very helpful because they can bring their whole staff in. I just enjoy my time working. I, I've really enjoyed my job actually and I like the meeting of the people and the training and doing the MORs. This company's been awesome. I've really enjoyed it.